Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and quite recently someone called Tom contacted me via email to ask whether I would do a review of a lock picking lock book that they had created. Now, of course, I'll leave links uh, below to where you can buy this lock book. And when I first heard about it, I wasn't quite sure what he meant, but when I got it, it was perfectly clear. And here it is. So, um, I mean, price might change over time but it's currently about £10 um, of UK money which is what somewhere around uh, uh, 12 US dollars and this is literally a uh, an indexed logbook for people who l would like to sort of jot down their lock picking entries um, over time. Now I do know some people who keep spreadsheets of this kind of thing um, and other people who keep notes themselves, but I actually quite like the idea of this. I'm quite a pen and paper kind of person myself, I have to say. And I think when I first started picking in particular, I would have found this quite useful. Um, it's also quite useful for those people who just like to keep a record of what they've been doing in, in their Locksport hobby. So let's have a look at one of these pages. So there are uh, pages to fill out, just over 80 pages of these lock entry logs. Obviously you have your brand, you have your model. Uh, difficulty and rank, I guess that you can decide how you want to do that, like, you know, high, medium, low, or, you know, one to 10 or, or whatever you like. I mean, this is your journal after all, isn't it? So you can decide what your scale is. Um, then what type of lock is it? Is it challenge lock? Does it have spools? Does it have um, wafers, T-pins and counter milling? But also, which is quite nice, is other. Um, you have the pins. And I guess you could uh, tick each one of these boxes to say that it's a one to a, a seven pin. You could draw a picture of the pins in order. Actually, I'll be honest, that's probably what I would do. Um, I quite like the visual things. So you go, you know, pin one is like a standard spool serrated, standard spool serrated. That'd be kind of cool to have a visual representation. And I quite like the idea of having the sort of index. Um, I guess what I would do is I'd fill this up first and then I'd probably then do the index afterwards because I quite like things to be sort of neat and I'd alphabetize, alphabetize it. Um, but that's just me. Um, other people probably just do it as it went along. But I, I just quite like the idea that you could go, oh, um, oh, the Brinks 612. That was, yeah, I picked that. And, ah, uh, yeah, I remember now it actually had uh, uh, four spools and three standards and an anti bump spring. And, you know, it's all that kind of stuff. I quite like that. Um, then you have what date. Um, what attempt, what picks you might have used, which actually, this is probably one of the most uh, interesting things, because if you have um, a lock and it had a peculiar bitting or a very tight keyway or something, it's quite easy to forget exactly what you used, uh, especially if you pick hundreds of locks. Um, it can be quite useful to have a, um, you know, a bit of a log and also see how it's changed throughout your um, attempts at picking it. And I say attempts, some people just like to log when they picked a lock, regardless of how many attempts it is. Uh, the time to open, if that is, um, you know, when you started or what time it's open, uh, or indeed how long it took, and did you open it, tick, cross. Uh, you know, there's a lot of um, room here to interpret these fields as you like, and of course, any notes and comments. Um, so all in all, I think it's a really nice idea for a tenor and probably quite a nice gift actually. If you, if you know a lock sporter, lock picker or locksmith and you don't know what to buy them, you just want a bit of a what we call a stocking filler here in the UK, then I, I don't think you could go too far wrong with something like this. It's, it's just a nice idea really. Um, and again, you've got some uh, pages at the back here for other notes, tips and uh, reference materials, which I think is quite nice. Um, well, I, I think I saw a, a some pictures of the previous edition of this and I was going to say that um, whilst challenge spools maybe even t-pins are um, you know quite common wafers and counter milling sort of less so and, and wood wafers make much of a difference I'm not so sure so I was going to comment that um, you know it'd be nice to have serrated pins multi spools mushrooms instead but on the other hand you do have a field for other and you can draw them here so it sort of has all your bases covered and it's a very minor, minor pick. Um, so yeah, I think this is really, really nice. Um, not only did Tom send me this, uh, like I said, very nice little notebook, he also sent along some uh, other little extras, a 
Carl F. Euro cylinder, uh, which was giving him some trouble, um, which he picked but said there were some really deep spools. And oh, wow, is there? In fact, I will do a video video on this lock. Um, if any of you don't know the brand, um, I don't blame you. I have heard of it because it's uh, a, you know, it's a relatively generic lock you can find in the UK, but surprisingly difficult picks, genuinely. Um, and he also sent me this is an oak handle, but the pick itself is actually made of something which you are familiar with, which is this particular pick from one of those credit card pick sets. Um, I've never seen one of these sort of mounted in a handle before, and it's really cool. So um, thank you, Tom, for sending me that. That's really, really nice of you. I really appreciate it. Um, so everyone else, if you are interested in one of these lock picking log books, either for, either for yourself or as a gift, then do go check out the links in the description below. Um, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. And I'll see you all next time.